hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's a girl that gilly chick so guys today i'm not showing you how to tie gilly mm -mm, nah -ah. i am showing you how to make this beautiful bridal hand fan it was ordered by my bride a bride ordered this and i thought why not share the knowledge hmm? no knowledge is waste after all so guys these are the things we are going to be using for this bridal hand fan we are going to use a local fan we're going to use trimmings we're going to use uh, some beads some um carpenter glue and b7000 it's a glue for fabric and a fabric too and as well the feathers guys so i actually got this fan from um this aboki that go around with a uh, fan and mats traditionally locally made so I actually trimmed this one it was bigger than this so I trimmed it into the size so I'm sorry I didn't show you that part but I'm sure I'm going to be showing more of how to make bread and pans and I'll definitely show you how to do that so th the first thing I'm just going to be doing is to be wrapping it with this fabric get a very fine fabric that matches the color of um, the feathers you're going to be using so I'm using this satin fabric to cover up my So I'm just trying to trim up the excess fabric and trying to get that uh, curve, that shape of the fan. So that's exactly what I'm doing. My my shaping or my cutting is not done it's because my um, scissors was not that sharp. But I eventually got a new one during the process of the fan making, guys. So just keep watching. I'm sure you don't understand. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer you guys. So I'm going to use the first one I've trimmed out to cut out the second one but mind you when you're cutting the second one make sure the second one is bigger than the first one I will tell you the reason why I'll, the reason why when we get to that stage so make sure the next one you're cutting down that's the one on the at the bottom is bigger than the one on top So I got this glue from the, I mean gum, I got this gum from the carpenter's workshop. It's very strong, it holds really well, so you can get a carpenter's gum for this. But um, one thing you should note is that when you're doing a white fan or a pinkish or something bright, you don't use this particular kind of gum. I think there's a, another color that is not brownish, that is like white, you can buy that type because when you decide to use this color on a white fan or on a pinkish fan or something bright it's going to stain it it's going to give you this brownish color so use ask for a transparent one when you are buying from your carpenter's workshop but because i'm actually using a color that matches this um blue that's why i'm good to go with it the color of the fan we're using is um champagne gold as you can see so I'm just covering it up and okay so this is the reason why I said one of the 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 fabric you cut should be bigger I said so because you see right here after you're done doing that we're going to notch the edge and we use it to like cover up the other parts okay when we get to that stage I'll explain better we're almost there
so you see guys this is what i'm talking about i'm notching that excess and then i'll just use that to lap and cover up this part of the fan this is just the reason why i said one of your um cut down circle for the cover up should be bigger than the other so that's just it guys So right now I'm just trying to cover up the hand of the fan. I'm sorry I didn't use my measuring tape to measure down the length but you can just trace down the, the stick of the fan just the way I did mine and you cut down a little bit longer than usual so that you can wrap it up properly. So that's just what I'm doing right now. I'm going to wrap it up. So you see this fan you see how it is there's the back and there's the front so this is how you should place it so that it will be fluffy you see this is the back and this is the front so this is how you should place it so that it will be looking there's a way it looks more beautiful when you place it this way than when you turn it to the other side it will be bending backwards the beauty won't come out so put it on this way Friends, making this fan is interesting, it's easy, like it just brings out the best in you because you're just trying to be creative and you use your own common sense to create something nice. Like the decoration part of it, you just use out of the multiples of um, talents or creativeness in your head. <laughs> Since we are speaking English for you guys because of right now, fan, oh, hey god, if you should try me to like this video guys like this video encourage your girl yes and that brings me to the, the part where i like to talk support your girl big kolu please subscribe to your girl's channel if you enjoyed watching this content and if you find it 
helpful help my ministry subscribe to my channel like comment and share you can also hit on the notification button so it can help you get notified anytime i post a video on my channel all right guys thank you for watching So guys while i was making this um bridal fan the only challenge i had was that um you know i told you i'll be using two gums that's the carpenter's gum which is brown in color in that coca-cola bottle and the other one which is b7000 which is in a white tube right there so the challenge i had was that so the b7000 was not drying on time reason why um my my feathers wasn't stained quickly so i had to wait a bit for the glue to dry before placing it so when you are making yours don't put your feathers immediately after applying your glue you have to hold on a bit for it to like beat on it a bit let it dry halfway then you put your glue that way to stay in everything so you see here i had to i was i just kept on blowing and fanning so that it would stick to it but the carpenter's glue had more advantage because immediately you put it you can place your feathers to do get um stick already to stick to the fan it glued immediately that's the only disadvantage i had but now with sanding the glue is still okay and you can also use um b7000 or b6000 whenever you're making any white fan or any um pinkish or bright color in case you don't want a stain of this um carpenter's glue i use you can use that one but make sure you allow it dry before you place it that way you get good re results so right now i'm about to place this beautiful trimmings but before i place it i just want to see if it's okay but you know i think i'm just going to put on trimmings right there so i changed my mind i took it off and i'm just going to put down trimmings all over here but i'll put down that same trimming on the other parts of the fan just keep watching guys use your creativity use your common sense i actually just i i i had a picture of what i wanted to do but i didn't know i was going to use a whole of this kind of trimmings here but i ended up using it so just keep watching guys
also guys another thing i would have done better was that i would have used my trimmings first to cover up the fan before i even started putting my feathers because while i was trying to put the trimmings on the hand the feathers were kind of blocking it at the top so i would have done that at the beginning before even i stepped into the feathers so if you're doing yours you can consider putting your trimmings on the hand first so that you know you're done with the hand before putting your feathers but i did mine last i had a real challenge on that but nevertheless it came out well it came out fine guys So friends, thank you for watching my video. I hope this video is useful to up your bridal fan fan game. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share. See you next time. Bye bye.